been something that drives almost every pipe smoker. Bananas. Bananas. Mmm. Now the controversy over how to light a tobacco pipe has gone on for at least a few months now. At least, uh, well, as long as I've been doing tobacco stuff on this channel. Oh. oh God, that's good. Now most people get very upset when I light my tobacco pipe with a torch lighter. They tell me, oh, you're gonna ruin your pipe and you're gonna ruin the tobacco and you're gonna ruin your life. Now, I can sum this up very quickly by just saying, I don't care. To me, you use whatever method you want to use, whatever you prefer to light these up because the reason you're smoking these in the first place is just to enjoy them. If you're like me and you like a torch lighter, Use a torch lighter. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Not really. Let's jump into other things that aren't related to tobacco pipes at all. I don't know if you've noticed lately, but the world today is looking uh, frightfully... Ooh, frightfully what? Depending on how you see the world today. At least... From my perspective, I look at a world with a lot of people who just follow suit, do as they're told, and try to fit in, try not to stand out. And something that my wife and I have tried to instill in our kids that we've told them, kids, why did I say it like that? Kids! One of the things we've told our kids for a number of years is that the world needs people who will stand when everyone else is sitting. Let's torch this thing. That's one good reason for using a torch lighter. When lighting a pipe is you can say cool things like, let's torch this thing, and everyone will be impressed. Whew. Dang, that's good. You know, it's weird to me when I look at the world today and how much has changed even since I was a child, growing up in the 80s and 90s. The world was a lot different than it is today. There's a certain way that myself, my family, my kids look at the world that uh, certainly in today's world, and especially in the West Coast, probably the East too, are pretty hotly protested, at least it would seem through, well, the media. It seems that those ways of living and looking at the world are under attack in a way that they've never been in my lifetime. I think that's true for a lot of people. I think there's things that have changed in the world around them that they're not big fans of, but because no one else is really doing anything about it or talking about it, or a lot of people want to be seen as more open-minded to some of the new ways of the world, mainly America, America. That's my world. And because you don't want to be seen as the only person who seems to think the way that you do, a lot of people just don't really do much about it. They just sort of back down and use some sort of soft flame to light their pipes rather than the torch pipe that they know deep inside of them they'd like to use. For me and the rest of this video, this torch lighter represents the way that I think about the world. The viewpoints I have, the convictions I have, the belief systems I have in my world, that's this torch lighter and I prefer it and I'm just gonna keep using it because I don't care. But if you live in some places in the world, like we used to live in San Diego, and when you're surrounded by a group of people who all believe in soft lighters, if you will, sometimes you kind of get confused and you think, yeah, everyone else wants to use a soft flame. Everyone else seems to think that that's the best way to go about your pipe lighting needs. Mm. Wherever you stand on the torch lighter versus soft flame, debacle. I think uh, we feel like we're at a point now where uh, it's important to show other people where you stand on the lighter debate and to do what you can to encourage others who are also closeted torch flame lighters to get out there and 
Use a torch lighter if that's what you prefer. Yeah, I think that was a video. Pretty sure that was something. Don't know what that was, but it was pretty great. If you like these kind of videos about tobacco pipes and trying to figure out your way on a 200 year old farmstead and you have no clue what you're doing and you're trying to raise your family and you're, you know, confused about most things, but you try to make it look like you're not and, uh, and things around you sometimes look more and more dire and, and you're just like, what's going on? And, and you think, I just need to watch a YouTube video. Well, here you go. This is what a YouTube video can be. Hmm. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you do all the things you're supposed to do on YouTube that every YouTuber describes to you as if you don't know that I, I need thumbs ups and comments and all those things. YouTube makes me do it. Uh, if you put a YouTube video up, a YouTube representative shows up at your house and well, you have to sign a contract that every video you will ask people who watch your video to like and subscribe. So please do that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.